What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Imagine sitting down watching a game of football when all of a sudden you see something really odd in the studio that makes you wonder. Was it a really weird gust of wind and just a blur or was it something paranormal? That made us wonder if something like that happened often, so today we're looking at 5 possible ghost sightings caught on live TV. With that said, leave a like on the video and comment whether you think ghosts are real or not. I know some people really believe in spirits, ghosts, and all that, while others only believe in science, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5 So we all know where ghosts like to hang out, right? Like we expect to see them in old hospitals, castles, maybe even in houses with super bloody histories. But this is the first time I've ever heard of a ghost somewhere like this. I mean this random spooky figure must have got lost on his way to the graveyard, because he ended up haunting a soccer match in the middle of a game analysis. That's right, these two presenters were talking over the game that had just happened between Sunderland and Neverton, but the really interesting stuff was going on on the screen behind them. I'm not joking, a strange man who looked as normal as a groundskeeper or like a referee was just wandering along the grass while the two guys just kept on chatting. Now I know that all sounds pretty normal, and it was at first, but it's what happened a little bit later on that made this ordinary clip really freaking weird. Like instead of walking off the pitch like a normal human would do, this figure just straight up vanished and went back to wherever it came from in the first place. Spooky. Is the fact that last season they're a bit of an unknown quantity. Nobody really set up to play to nullify the strengths. This season I think teams are ready for them and I think they're going to have to come up with a different way of playing because teams aren't now going pressing and leaving the space in behind. There's no space now for Jamie Vardy or for Mares. People are doubling up on him and they're going to have to find another way to try and win games. Number 4 The TV show Most Haunted has been capturing evidence of ghosts for years now, but well, let's just say their program isn't the most trustworthy thing out there. With that said, last year they claimed to have caught a ghost on camera for real, for the first time since they started making the show 15 years ago. I mean, they were filming in the biggest private house in England at the time, and it was supposed to be completely empty, but the cameras definitely seemed to show something else was there with them. So what happened? Well, they were filming down a long corridor when one of the presenters claimed to notice something weird, and sure enough, they definitely weren't alone. At the end of the room, the figure of a man was slowly but carefully walking up the stairs away from them, but when they followed him, he was nowhere to be found. Now, people are really conflicted about whether the show did this for views or not. But so far, the presenters seem as confused about what they've seen as anyone else, which is funny because they're supposed to be the experts. There. I can, Carl, I can see it now. Go for it, go for it. Hello? I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. Hello? Hello? Oh, fuck. I think he fell downstairs. Who are you? Hello? Who was that? Can you repair quick? We're going in. That's definitely personal, wasn't it? Definitely, yeah. Hello? Okay. Come on, if you hit. If you hit, what, what's that? What's that? There. Okay. Come on, if you hit. If you hit, what, what's that? What's that? There. Number three. Now, if you ever meet anyone who says they could talk to the dead, then chances are they won't be able to do it on the spot, because you can't just pick and choose when a spirit is going to come and say hi. With that said, this psychic managed to summon up a ghost completely accidentally while she was trying to predict the weather. Now, before you ask, I have no idea why this TV show decided to use a clairvoyant instead of like, I don't know, a weatherman? But either way, she was deep in the zone, and then when she started talking about angels, something really weird happened. All of a sudden, a piece of the set fell off the wall, and parts started spinning so quickly that even the co-hosts of the show freaked out. Apparently, she felt like a really strong presence in the room, and accidentally summoned a poltergeist into the studio with them. I mean, that's not exactly what you'd expect from like a breakfast show, but it can't have done their viewing figures any harm, so who knows, maybe the ghost just really wanted to be on TV. <laughs>
Number two. I've already said that there are some places where we just don't expect ghosts to be, and I'll be honest with you guys, random radio stations in Albania are pretty high up on that list. Like I've got no idea what a ghost would get out of hassling this presenter and his guests, but obviously they decided to do it anyway. Not just that, but they haunted the guy in the most cliche way possible, by making his newspaper fly off the desk all by itself. Now I know that's such an old trick that it's almost more funny than scary, but it is a total classic, and it must have done the job too, because both of them ended up pretty freaked out. Okay, here's our honorable mention. I'll admit it, maybe calling this one a ghost straight out of the gate is a little bit of a stretch, but after you've watched it, have a think and let me know if you could come up with another explanation for what you've seen. I mean, the quality isn't great since we're watching a news report taped onto a TV and then filmed from the screen, but it's still pretty clear what we're supposed to be looking at. Basically, while this poor BBC reporter is trying to deliver a story on location, something flashes past behind him. It's so quick that you could barely see it unless you slow the footage down, but it's definitely there, and it definitely looks like a figure running alongside him. Now before you comment saying it's probably like a streaker playing a prank, I'll admit, that was my first thought too, but look at how fast the thing is running. If it is someone deciding to mess about on TV, then their supernatural speed is definitely just as spooky as a ghost. And uh, if we ever track them down, we should put them in the Olympics right away. Number one, most ghost hunters spend years of their lives trying to get evidence that what they're looking for is real. So either these guys are complete fakes or they're super, super lucky. I mean, when they took this news crew down to Whiskey Bill's haunted cottage in the middle of the day, there were creepy voice messages left for them, as well as piles of stones and the sound of metal hitting metal from under the house. Now that's already really creepy, but when the crew went back at night, I think it's safe to say things went up a notch. Like seriously, they've hardly been there for 10 minutes when they start taking pictures and see a weird ghost thing literally clinging to the reporter's back. It's pretty freaking spooky, but it's not enough to convince the cameraman until an arrow literally hits the side of his camera. Now given that they've just asked to see an arrow as proof that there are ghosts hanging around, it's basically impossible to argue with that kind of evidence, and absolutely no one on the news team does. In the 1930s, this was the home of William Goodburn. Some suspect he ran a moonshine out of a mine out behind his house that earned him the nickname Whiskey Bill. Today, though, that home looks nothing like it did. But even though the walls no longer exist here, something else does. How haunted is this spot? Oh, on one to ten, it's about 11. Bill's body rests at this gravesite about 100 yards away from the home. He's got a cowboy hat on, just holding his right arm up a little bit. It's almost like he has a bird on it. Another image shows crosses. Obviously, there's no crosses here. But they appeared right when this picture was Three times. And that same message was also written with pebbles above the grave. Now, all of this happened at night, so the odds of us experiencing can hear what sounds to be a man with a deep voice grumbling. No more Seth. No more Seth. Seth. Another electronic voice phenomenon or EVP message was left. This came from the grave. And there's our video on the top five ghosts caught on live TV. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see when I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to search me handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.